Hello my convicts and convict catchers, I decided to convict bring you guys and gals another tech video. So here we are, let's get straight to the point and let's get a fix in for that error code you see in the description. Before we do, if you take a notice of above, I do live stream Monday to Friday on twitch.tv forward slash Kappa Convict, all in lowercase. If you want to join me there, I do live stream Monday to Friday here in the UK, half past 10 till half past 2, which is now 9.15, so... Not too long from now, I will be live and playing today some Apex Legends and then we'll go on to playing other games. I'm a variety streamer, so I don't play the same game each and every day. I do like to pick and play different games each and every single day um, or maybe once or twice each week. Just depends on obviously who comes along and if there's anything good to play. Anyway. So today is regarding to trying to fix an error code that you get with your PS5. So if we go over here, you can see the PlayStation 5. Now the game in question is this one, Spellbreak. I did have this issue with both Fall Guys and Apex and managed to fix these two games as these are now working. But Spellbreak still gives me this error. It says can't install, gives me download an update file, and then it says calculate remaining time. And no matter how long you wait, you don't get anything working. It doesn't work or anything. One thing I've noticed as well is when you go here. Now, just to iterate quickly before we continue, I am using an extended storage drive as well. It's a two terabyte storage drive, which is here. And this is the storage drive in which all the games for PS4 are on. You go to the move PS4 content, go down, and you'll notice when I get to the bottom, it says installing. But for some weird reason, it never did install. It's just stuck in installing, and that's caused the issue and problem that I'm having today. So I'm going to show you how to potentially fix this. Now, it's not a permanent fix, and it may be on and off, on and off sometimes, because some certain games I had to do a couple of times to get it to work, and then eventually it did. But it's better than deleting the whole game and restarting. A lot of people put out their videos and said, oh yeah, just delete the game, restart. Jobs are good and there you go, loads of views. Hey, hey. Unfortunately, that doesn't help people. I don't want to be deleting games, neither do you. So definitely don't do that. So what you do is go back, go to the game in question, okay? Click on it. It will say this. It'll say start without updating. Click start without updating. And this will force the game to play. Update the game or app to use network, okay? So it will force the game to start in a moment, as you can see loading. Right, we've got to the login screen. We're not going to do anything from this point. If you do, you can't get anywhere anyway. If I press something, it won't. It says, as you can see, problem logging in, check your connection, try again, okay? So I've got my USB storage drive here. What I'm going to do is unplug it. Now, disclaimer, obviously I have to say this. If you have a hard drive and you disconnect it without properly disconnecting it from your PS5, you could potentially cause corruption or data or damage. Do be aware, obviously you do this on your own terms and it's completely up to you. If you feel that you don't want to do that, then the best option is just delete the game, restart, reinstall the entire game again with the update. I can't be held responsible for obviously your actions today. What I'm going to do is obviously do something with mine. And if it breaks, by all means, I can go and buy a new one. So please take heed on that disclaimer. Okay, so what you're going to do or what I'm going to do here is unplug my drive. You can see it says that it wasn't properly removed. I'm going to press OK. It's going to take you back to the main screen again. I'm now going to reconnect my drive back to my PlayStation 5. And in a moment, you'll get a prompt, which will tell you that your drive was not correctly removed. You then press OK. It will then say that obviously something is wrong with your USB drive. It needs to be repaired. So press OK. So it's kind of like, you know, when your PlayStation 5 or PS4 turns off or your, your electric goes out and then you turn it back on and it says it wasn't correctly shut down. It's same sort of thing to that. But again, like I said, disclaimer, you do this on your own back. And if there's any data or damage or any problems, then 
so be it on yourself unfortunately I cannot be held responsible obviously for what you do at home so once you've done that as you can see we've got back to the main screen again all I'm going to do now is press X to go back to the game okay it's checking the storage I know. Now what you should do, you should bring up that prompt again. Okay, didn't bring up the prompt that time. It's supposed to bring up the prompt again, but then it starts installing the game, but that time around it didn't do it. We'll close the game, restart. It should have done this. Now as you can see, it's starting to download the update file again. Beforehand, it wasn't doing anything at all. It would just sit there and it wouldn't physically move or anything. It wouldn't do anything at all. It would just do this. And obviously that's not what we want it to do. So if you go out now and you go over here to your downloads, you can see that the game is now officially updating here on the PS5. I'm just going to make sure that the game is not logged in, which is not, as you can see here. Go back to the download at the bottom. Go back to download and copies. Okay. So now we're just going to leave it for this 11 minutes. We're going to let it do its thing. And then it should potentially install it. And we should be able to then play the game without any problems. I've done this for Fall Guys and Apex Legends. And I'll show you them working in a moment. If you don't believe me, check out the stream that I did on Twitch.tv. Uh, forward slash Kappa Convict there. I did it yesterday and I was trying to play Apex at the beginning uh, of the actual uh, stream and it won't play due to that error. So if you go over on there, feel free to drop me a follow as well at twitch.tv forward slash Kappa Convict. I really would appreciate it, especially if this helps you out. And uh, yeah, I do live stream Monday to Friday, half past 10 till half past 2 which uh, will be within the next just over an hour and a half. Right, so what I'm going to do, because it's going to take another nine minutes, I'm going to pause it briefly until it gets closer, hopefully catch it at the end, and then we'll come back and I'll show you and hopefully we can get it working. Uh, I will say... This has taken a few times to do it. This is my third time doing this. So it may not happen straight on the first go. Uh, but I think it was potentially the way I was doing it. This way I'm doing it right now, I've just showed you, is the, probably the way that obviously works. But I'll double check and we'll see how we go. And I'll explain at the end. So uh, see you in just a right here we go so i managed to catch it we've got 60 seconds left as you can see here and then we'll try it and hopefully fingers crossed this should work so i'm just gonna wait um like i said this is the third attempt of doing this uh but i think this is the way that it's supposed to do it and i'll be explaining this at the end but basically just make sure obviously you come here to where the downloads and, and copies are at the end rather than just waiting and then clicking on the icon from there you want to click on it from here I think is what I did last time, which is why I've had to do it a couple of times. There is like a unique sort of like little sequence you have to do to get it to work. It's kind of weird. And like I said, it's taken me a few times to get there to get it to work. But uh, I think I had the same problem with Apex. I had to do it more than once. Uh, so it's just one of those things. You just have to keep bashing at it until it physically does it. Uh, but hopefully this time around it'll be good to go. Right, one second left. There we go, installing 100%. And there you go. So the game has now disappeared, as you can see here from downloading copies. So if we go over, go back to the game, click on it, it should now start without giving me any issues. And I'll run through the process again, as I believe this was the correct process I did last time. I was trying to think in my head last night 
which way I did it. And uh, it looks like this is the way that we're supposed to do it. So make sure you copy exactly what I just did now. And uh, you should be good. And as you can see, we've not had no, nothing come up, nothing say. I'll click and go into the game so you can see it. But this is a fix on how to fix it. Like I said, no disclaimer, do be careful. Obviously, when you're doing this with your drive, and don't do this if you, you know, you, if you feel that it's going to cause any damage or anything, then just re reinstall the entire game again. So there you go. We are now in the game. We can now play the game again. So there we have it. That's how you do it. So like I said before, you click on the game. It will then bring you to that starting, uh, start the game without updating. You want to click on the start without updating. Let the game load into the main menu into uh, the beginning menu. Obviously, it won't let you progress any further. You then want to unplug your hard drive. That will then obviously cause it to put off and go back. You press OK. You come back to the main menu. You plug your drive back in. Eventually, it will come up and boot and say, oh, OK, there's been a problem. You've disconnected. We need to repair and check this. So click on that. Let it do its process. Then when you obviously come back and you go and click on the game again it will take you back to the same screen but it should then start to download the update once you've got that prompt come out of the game back to the main menu go to where your downloads are which will be down on this bit here go to the download section and then wait there at the download section like download and install it will download and install it from there and then it will allow you then just to come and click on the game don't stay on the game and wait for it to fully update otherwise if you leave it there on that screen where you see the bar and it says uh, click without updating it will come up with the error again you need to drop out you need to then go to that downloads down here at the bottom and find the downloads here and wait in that part for it to do the full update and there you go that is how you fix it i did it for both fall guys and apex legends i had the same problem with them and that's how you do it hopefully this helps definitely come and check me out if you want, on twitch.tv forward slash Kappa Convict, I do, again, live stream Monday to Friday, half past 10 till half past 2. I will be live today and on Friday and every other day, unless, obviously, school holidays and stuff, as I look after my son as he's autistic and I support him as a full-time carer. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hopefully enjoyed. You know it is. It is that a convict signing out. As always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts. Hopefully this helps you. And yeah, bye for now.